I am from the Dominican Republic and I've been here for 25 years in New York. It's not easy. You go to work, you come back home, but sometimes you don't even know if you're gonna come back home. Every day I live in fear. My mother brought me from the Dominican Republic. I was seven years old when I got my green card. <laughs> Most of the, my family is here, so I don't be going back and forth to the Dominican Republic. Right here, this is home. I've been here my whole life. In 2009, I was working in the grocery store when um, the police officers rush in. They say, we got a search warrant. They put the cuffs on me, put me on my knees, start searching the store. They went into the um, cash register area. The person that was there had drugs on them. Because that person had drugs on them, everybody gets arrested. My lawyer advised me that it was just nothing. It was just going to be five years probation, and it would be a slap on the wrist. Well, my lawyer advised me wrong. If I have known the problem I was going to have today, I would not plead guilty to it. When I started probation, I used to go every week. Then for every other week, once a month, for about three years. And then ICE came to my house around 5 in the morning. They say, you got a warrant for your arrest. You know, I said, I don't have no warrants. I'm good. There was like five cars around me, 10 people everywhere. They grabbed me, they put shackles on me. They put chains on my waist, right in the middle of the street. Everybody looking in the morning. The first thing the officer said to me was that I'm getting deported. That there was nothing I could do. It's like you're going through hell. Five, six people go around you, like if you kill someone. Then they took me to Jersey. Like the government kidnapped me. Kept me away from my family and friends, my loved ones. Those detention centers are, are run the same way as jail, maybe worse. You're always cold. They never turn off the AC. They give you a mattress that's maybe an inch thick. The type of food that they give you, I wouldn't even give it to my dog. You can't eat, can't sleep can't use the bathroom in peace. All you see is people crying every day. Some people in there are in there for years. I'm lucky I just did six months. Immigration Center says that you're not in jail. If I'm not in jail, why are you keeping me here for so long? They also tell you that if you want to leave, sign, get deported. After 15 days of being in there, I just wanted to sign and get out. I think I'd rather be free in the Dominican Republic than being locked up in jail. Go where? Put your sneakers on. Get your sneakers. Right now I'm on bail. That means that for as long as I don't get in trouble, I am good. Maybe you went in there and you didn't have no problem, and now after you come out of there, you got problems. The system makes you feel like a criminal. Can't get a job. Anywhere you go, they look at you different. Before I got locked up, my son was maybe one years old. I spent six months away from him, not feeding him, not cleaning him, not anything with him. Bobby, this is your oh. After I went into the detention center, my son's mother, she was having problems. So my sister took my son in, how to become a foster parent. So when I came out of detention, I couldn't get custody of my son. I just finished going to court for my stuff. Now I got to keep going to court for him, but I did win at the end. I'm full guardian. Gabby is my wife now. Be happy. If I get deported to the Dominican Republic, it's gonna break my heart. But yes, I was born there, but I left very young. What I'm looking forward for my son is make sure 
We spend a lot of time together. Just in case of anything, at least the memory is there.